What's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We don't get right into it. This video is going to be why y'all should never ever pay y'all collections, right? Never ever pay y'all collections. I'm going to break it down to y'all why y'all should not pay y'all collections. All right, so this is you right here. I'm not no artist, so bear with me. This is you, right? You're you have a collection with the um, the, the creditor, or let's just say for this example, it's um, AT and T. AT and T. You have a collection with AT and T, right? Now your contract is with this company. Your signature. Your contract is with this company, so you owe this company the money. Now there's another company that comes in the middle, right? Which is the collection agency. This company right here bought the debt from this company for pennies on the dollar, right? So. This is the company that's now contacting you for the money. Remember, your signature and your contract is with this company. This company does not have your signature in writing that you owe this debt. This company does not have you over a recorded line talking about some you owe the debt. So if they can't verify that this is your debt, you don't have to pay it and it needs to get removed from your credit report. So this is when they call you, right? They call you, they get you on the phone. <clears throat> as, as soon as you answer, what do they say? I've never been on the phone with a collection company, but I know people that have, right? But this is what they say. They say, can I speak to so-and-so? They're gonna say your name. As soon as you say, yes, this is so-and-so, you lost. You verified it and now you have to pay them. But Let's say you come up with a different approach, right? They call you. They say, can I speak to so-and-so? You say, who am I speaking to? They have to say who they are. So they're gonna say, they're so-and-so, the, the collection company, right? All you have to do to not verify the debt is just say this. Can you please stop calling and any future correspondence, can you put it in writing? Thank you, click. Now, they cannot verify that this is your debt because, look, one thing you did is called the FDCPA, Fair Debt Collectors Practices Act, right? You told them to not call you. The FDCPA protects collection companies from harassing you. So if you told them not to call you on a um, recorded line, they cannot call you again because that goes against the FDCPA. Because if they call you again, that will technically be them harassing you. Right, so as soon as you say that, they can't call you again, right? And if they do, that goes against the FDCPA. So now, they can't verify that this is your debt. Remember, they don't have your signature in writing. They don't have you open. That was the recorded phone call, right? So they don't have your signature. Therefore, your signature is with them. They don't even have the debt anymore because they sold it to them. And they can't collect it from you because they can't verify that this is your debt, right? So... That is why you should never verify yourself over the phone when the collection company is um, calling you. Because if you verify yourself, now that they know that that's just you, you owe them money, right? So that's why you never pay a collection because you, your contract is not with them. Your contract was with AT&T or whatever company that was. It was not with the collection agency, right? So if y'all... Like this video and it was some knowledge for y'all, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the way to 100 subscribers. I thank y'all so much for watching my videos. I'm going to keep bringing y'all this good content. And yeah, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe.